All right, so what is Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey, Lady Gaga, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Barack Obama, and I could go on and on and on about the most successful people in the world today and throughout history, what do all of them have in common? They all have an empowering morning ritual, meaning they take time every single morning and they proactively and consciously spend that time to take care of themselves first. They help make sure that they're strong, they're in a great state so that they can deal with the day and ultimately create the day and the life that they want. They're proactive, not reactive. You see, most people, they're reactive. They wake up, they hit the snooze, they check their email, their Facebook, they have stress, anxiety, they're worried about everything they have to get done that day, they have an unhealthy breakfast, and they're reacting all throughout the day. The most successful people in the world, they're all proactive. They take time to make sure that their body, their mind, and their spirit is strong. Because when you're proactive, you take care of you first, then you deal with all the obstacles and challenges you have throughout the day on a much different level. You're not phased as much because you're rock solid. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys some of the morning rituals of the most successful, the most famous people in the world today and throughout history. And I've been studying this since I was 17 years old, learning from the best, learning from the people that are the most happiest, the most successful in business, in emotions and spiritually, uh, in whatever field that they're in, so that I can learn and I can model them. And that's one thing that I've learned is that all the most successful people or the happiest people or the fittest people or the people that have the best relationships, whatever it is that you want, they all do something differently than you. They all have a specific practice, a specific ritual that conditions themselves, that helps prepare them to be at their best. You know, so really, if you can model the most successful people in the world, what they do, then you can get a similar result to them as well. You know, successful people, they're not just lucky. There's certain things they do every single day. And I believe that you are what you, what you repeatedly do every single day. Whatever you do every day is what you become. So I've got here on my, my phone right here, I'm gonna share with you guys, uh, cause I've done a lot of research on this and I'm gonna share with you some of the morning rituals of the most successful, most famous people of the world today. So first, Tony Robbins. Uh, the great self-help guru. He is actually someone that inspired me when I was 17 years old. Changed my life in many ways. And I've been doing morning rituals, by the way, since I was 17. That's one of the, the main things that's allowed me to make over a million dollars a year, transform my body, do fitness competitions. Uh, you know, it's contributed to my, my happiness, my joy uh, that I have, my amazing relationships. So I give a lot of credit just to those daily conditionings that I've done every day, whether that's gratitude or cultivating emotions or spirituality or affirmations, what, you know, working out on my body, eating healthy, all those little things have helped me create the life that I now have that I'm very blessed for. So let's jump into it. Tony Robbins, uh, he calls it his hour of power or 30 minutes to thrive or 15 minutes to fulfillment. And he starts off every single morning doing some form of a morning ritual. Uh, you know, he claims that a lot of his energy and a lot of his, his uh, success comes from his morning ritual, but he wakes up and he immediately jumps into a hot and cold pool. And what that does is that wakes up your body, wakes up your nervous system and just helps him be more alert and helps strengthen his willpower each day. Um, he also does something called priming where he spends some time meditating and also flooding himself with what he's grateful for and visualizing the day that he wants. He has a spiritual practice as well that he does. So Tony Robbins, he has a morning ritual that helps him to be where he's at today and create the results that he wants in his life. Uh, Barack Obama, current president of the United States, although that's gonna change soon, uh, but he starts off his morning ritual two hours before any scheduled event. So think about it, the president of the United States who's a lot busier than you and I, has a morning ritual. He starts out the day two hours before any events that he has. He makes his morning ritual the most important thing and he starts off working out 45 minutes first thing in the morning. So he takes care of his body, his health. He has a healthy breakfast. And a quote that I have uh, that he has here is, the rest of my time will be more productive if you give me my workout time. Um, he also avoids coffee instead of, uh, and instead drinks water, orange juice, or green tea. And uh, another cardinal rule that he has is he avoids any criticism as well. So he doesn't even read the newspaper or watch the news because you, know, you don't want to start off the day and already you know, receiving all this criticism about the media and other people in the world that are all putting you down. So uh, he avoids a lot of the critics as part of his ritual. Okay, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs uh, gave a great speech and he revealed something that was really powerful 
um, about his morning ritual, something that he does every single day. And I'll, I'm gonna quote you guys what he says here, but this was a speech that he gave to the graduating class of Stanford University. He says that for the past 33 years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know it's time to change. So that's pretty powerful. So he looks in the mirror and he asks himself the question, um, you know, would I want to do what I'm about to do today if it was my last day of my life? That's pretty powerful. So he reflects on his actions and how he's living his life. And if it's consistently no, he'll make a change to that, which is pretty cool. Mark Zuckerberg, pretty simple. One thing that's pretty interesting, there's, there's, I'm just gonna gloss over a few of them for you guys. And if you guys wanna know more, by the way, about morning rituals of the most successful people in the world and you wanna create and implement one of your own, then go to morningritualmastery.com. That's my website, morningritualmastery.com. I've got an amazing uh, program there that teaches you how to create and implement your own morning ritual that's based on some of the most successful habits of the most successful people in the world today. And I'll have a link somewhere in this video as well, but head on over there. But Mark Zuckerberg, he always wears the same thing every morning, the same shirt, because for him what he says is that one less decision to make is contributes to less decision fatigue. So basically what he says is that when you have to make too many decisions every day, you uh, fatigue from that. You know, it's just too many, too many decisions that you have to make. So he tries to simplify it by wearing the exact same thing every single day so it's one less decision that he has to make. Bill Gates starts off his morning taking care of his body by spending an hour on the treadmill and he's actually usually feeding his mind as well. He watches the teaching company while doing it so he's working out his body while also learning which is a great way to start off the day. Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks, uh, he says I get up at 4.30 in the morning, 4.30 and I walk my three dogs and I work out. So he does some sort of ritual for, the, for himself, working out, taking care of his body. And also when you're taking care of your body in that way, you're also taking care of your mind because your, your mind and your body go together. So it's a great way. Uh, how about Benjamin Franklin? You would wake up at 4 a.m. every morning. It would involve proactively thinking about what he'd want to accomplish that day. He would ask himself, what good shall I do this day? You know, pretty powerful. So asking yourself empowering questions, visualizing the day, asking yourself, what's my outcome? What do I want to create today? What good shall I do? That's pretty powerful. That's being proactive instead of reactive. How about Richard Branson, you know, the founder of Virgin? Uh, he has a pretty interesting one. He says that, here's a quote that he has, I leave the curtains undrawn and the sun comes up at 5.45 a.m. and straighten my eyes. I love bouncing up early. And his morning ritual consists of a swim around his island or he goes kite surfing. And then uh, he also plays tennis before sitting down for a healthy breakfast. So again, these are people that are much busier than you or, you or I and we're seeing a pattern here. They all have something that they do, they do first thing in the morning to take care of their body, their mind, their, their focus, their emotions in some way to prepare themselves for the day. Uh, Jack Dorsey, founder of Twitter, his morning ritual starts at 5.30 in the, in the morning and he meditates and that's followed by a six mile jog that he does. Ariana Huffington, uh, she begins every morning with 30 minutes of meditation and she's so convinced of the benefits that she offers weekly classes to her employees. Meditation, very powerful, calms your mind, helps you focus, helps you deal with the emotions uh, in a lot of different way throughout the day. How about Ellen DeGeneres? You know, uh, her morning ritual begins with a workout followed by 20 minutes of meditation. And she has said that the quiet and personal time is what gives her the energy to carry on with her busy entertainment schedule. Huh, interesting. How about Mick Jagger? Mick Jagger credits his morning ritual of working out six days per week to helping him reduce stress and amping up his trademark stamina. All right, how about Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga's morning ritual begins with yoga as well as five minutes each day of self-directed love and gratitude through compassionate thoughts. She does this every morning upon waking and carries the feeling with her throughout the day to help her stand tall in challenging times. Again, these are the most successful people in the world today. Oprah Winfrey. Her morning ritual consists of clearing her mind with at least 20 minutes of meditation. And this is a quote that she has about it. I walked away feeling fuller than when I'd come in, full of hope, a sense of, a sense of contentment, a deep joy knowing for sure that even in the daily craziness that bombards us from every direction, there is still the, consistent, the constancy of stillness. Only from that space can you create your best work 
and your best life. That's what she describes after her morning meditation that she does. You know, actor Will Arnett says every single morning I write a gra gratuity list. I write down 10 things that I'm grateful for every day and it always starts with my kids. Um, Olivia Wilde, the actress, I start, uh, try to start every day and end every day by taking a moment to be grateful. Uh, there's so many more. Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course, you know, starts the day at 5 a.m., does his workout, eats a healthy breakfast. Uh, he reads in the morning as well. Deepak Chopra uh, starts his morning ritual, uh, meditates for two hours every morning, he wakes up at 4 a.m. Uh, the author, Stephen King, you know, what's his morning ritual? He says that I have a glass of water or a cup of tea. Uh, there's a certain time I sit down from 8 to 8.30, somewhere within that time every morning. And he has his vitamins and he listens to music. He sits in the same seat and the papers are still arranged in the same place. And this helps him uh, you know, clear his mind and just be more focused, which is really powerful. Um, you know, There's just so many more that I could go on. But as you can see, the common consistent thing that they all have in common, all these most successful people in the world, is they all have a morning ritual. They all take time for themselves. They put everything else on hold because you have to make you the most important person in your life. Just like in the same way, you know, if you're in an airplane, they always teach you that if anything happens, you gotta make sure that your oxygen mask is on first because when you are taken care of first, then you can take care of other people. You don't wanna take care of others if you're not in the place that you are prepared to be able to do that. So I'm a big believer in morning rituals. It's changed my life in so many different ways and it can help make an impact in your life as well. So I highly encourage you to look at what is it that you're doing first thing in the morning because the truth is we all have a morning ritual whether we're aware of it or not. You know, the question is, does your morning ritual empower you or does it disempower you? Does it help you get closer towards your goals and the life that you want or is it holding you back? So when you consciously take charge of that first moment of the day, and you spend it in a way to be grateful, to take care of your body, your mind, your spirit, your health, your relationships, to give. When you do that, you're gonna be unstoppable throughout the day. It's gonna change uh, the way that you look at the day, and the way that you look at your life, and of course, how other people react to you as well. So morning rituals, that's the morning rituals of the most successful people in the world, and if you guys wanna know more, then check out morningritualmastery.com. That program will help you create your own morning ritual and explain a little bit more about how you can take your life to the next level by taking charge of the most important part of the day, the morning. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the link to go through and I'll talk to you soon.